Tonight with breaking news, sequestration is here. President Obama signed an order to begin $85 billion in spending cuts. And it starts tonight. Over time, thousands of local workers will feel the pinch between losing their jobs and having their salaries cut. We're on your side with live team coverage tonight. Anita Blanton will explain what it means for those in danger of losing paychecks or part of them. But let's start with 10 of your side's Lauren Compton in the newsroom with the late developments. Lauren. Nicole, the president is blaming Republicans for allowing this to happen, and Republicans are pointing the blame right back at him. The president and the House Speaker and Senate Majority Leaders all sat down today to discuss a compromise on sequestration with no luck. Here in Hampton Roads, a sequester will mean cuts to the military, shipbuilding, and businesses that rely on those workers. Now that the sequester is taking effect, Speaker of the House John Boehner says he's focused on averting another looming crisis, the government running out of funding at the end of the month. And I'm hopeful uh, that we won't have to deal uh, with the threat of a government shutdown uh, while uh, we're dealing with uh, the sequester at the same time. Uh, the House will act next week, and I hope the Senate uh, will follow suit. Speaker Boehner and House Republicans plan to pass a bill next week to keep the government running through September. President Obama says Congress will only have themselves to look at when the effects of the sequester hits the economy. Every time that we get a piece of economic news over the next month, next two months, next six months, uh, as long as the sequester is in place, we'll know that that economic news could have been better if Congress had not failed to act. The government says a sequester will result in furlough notices to government employees and, as we've been reporting, trim spending on defense contracts and domestic programs. In the newsroom, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.